Hello Witchlings, it's Moonshine here again. I know it's been a while, but I figured I would celebrate the past couple months with making a couple videos because I've been kind of out and about and very busy. Um, and I'll be showing you very soon why I've got a lot of things in process and it's been a busy couple months. But I um, just figured I would do a little haul video for you guys because everyone seemed to really like the Bath and Body Works hauls I've done before. Um, and if you know me at all, you know I'm obsessed and I kind of have to like take my hand off the, the computer or my phone, which is where I usually will go shopping, um, and kind of say, hey, gotta step back. Um, but because it is the holiday season and I've been doing shopping for other people, um, lots of presents and just thoughtful gifts and things and just getting the house in that kind of wintry, comforting kind of vibe, I surrendered my soul basically and did some shopping. Um, so I have some pretty cool stuff to show you today. Um, it's nothing like super big and I will admit it's kind of soap based, but I like you'll find out why soon why I've been so obsessed with soap lately um, but I digress let's get started on what I got um, so I think I'll do the candles I got first cuz I did get three awesome candles and you know every witch loves candles and so I had to get more even though I probably have like nine times the amount of candles I actually need I got more and the first one I got is the Tis the Season one, um, which is very cranberry oriented, um, and it has like a cute little tree on it. I like how they have better tops than they used to, um, because it actually makes them a little bit more reusable, because I find that... I've got this much left candle wax left in most of my candle jars from Bath and Body Works. Um, you can actually just scoop it out and you can make new candles out of it. And I like how they've been doing the more, I guess there's more of a variety of the type of glass that they use. Like this one, I don't know if you can tell, is like a frosted red color. So I don't know, I just thought it was cute. And you can take the label off too and you won't even know where it's from or anything and obviously will go great on a Yule altar or just in the house which is basically where, where I use these predominantly. Um, then to continue with the cranberry theme which is a huge part of I guess like the wintry theme that they're doing at Bath and Body Works this year is everything is cranberry or different kinds of cranberry. Um, so this is what I actually prefer to the Tis the Season. This one is Frosted Cranberry and it's in a clear one. Um, this is probably backwards on your screen, I don't know. But um, it smells great. So I had to get that too. Um, and I'll probably use these on my altar this year because I'm doing like a silver and red theme. Maybe some green. I haven't totally decided. Um, it's still in, in the works but I think these two will go on my altar for for you all that I've been preparing and working on, which you will also be seeing, also be seeing, probably on you itself. I'm going to probably do a video because um, I haven't done one in a while for my um, tours, and I did. I've basically been just doing them on Tumblr, like taking a picture and describing what's on my altar. But I'm going to go back to like I did last year and make a couple videos because it's in the works now and the way it looks now is pretty awesome so I'm thinking that by the time I'm done maybe you guys would like to see it and I mind a lot of changes so I digress again <laughs> um, the last candle I got um, with this haul um, which I easily could have gotten more um, but the thing that made me mad was I bought all these candles they were like on sale um, they're normally like $22.50 but I got them for like twelve fifty. A couple days after I placed my order, they were on sale for like the one time only year that they're eight fifty, and I had to really restrain myself to not buy them. But maybe next year we'll see. Um, the last one I got is from the White Barn collection, which is 
this like separate part of Bath and Body Works, um, but it's still Bath and Body Works. Uh, but it's kind of like more, I guess rustic is kind of the, the theme they're going for. Um, but it's called Merry Cookie. And it just has a basic Bath and Body Works reflective. Oh, there's my house. <laughs> um, I'm in my bedroom. Has a different kind of the boring mirror -y type of top. Um, this one does smell like a freaking cookie, and that's the main reason I wanted it. Um, this might be my center candle, but to be honest, I think I'm going to want to do white or maybe green. I mean, I know they don't have silver ones, but that would be perfect. Um, but I might also put this on my... Sorry, I <laughs> can't stop smelling it. I might also put this on my altar. We'll have to see, though. Um, and this one seems like it has, like, kind of... Like, if you can see from the bottom, it's kind of frosted glass, but not like the frosted cranberry. But, eh, I like it. Um, I also got two room sprays, um, because, just why not? We use a lot of room spray anyway, and I got the Vanilla Snowflake, which I just, I think I thought it was going to smell better than it does, but it's kind of strong. It's got like this, I can't put my finger on it exactly, but it's got like this kind of cake smell, but I, I do like it, and the boyfriend likes it, so whatever. And because I spend a lot of time in the kitchen, especially this time of year, um, I figured I would need one that would be very Christmassy, um, wintry, and so I got the cinnamon and clove blend. Um, it comes in a cute little bottle. And this one, I much prefer because I'm a, I love anything cinnamon, anything clove, and I just quite like that scent. There are a bunch of other ones that I was contemplating, but we'll see. We'll see what I get next time because there will be a next time. Um, and then I got two body washes. I got, well, actually three, but um, the third one's kind of a man thing. Um, he's not supposed to know that he's cutting it, but I did get the It's going to be a winter gift for him. No one tell him. But anyway, I got um, the Vanilla Bean Noel classic scent. Um, very nice. My mom's favorite. And I like how they've updated it. It's more vanilla y. I really like that. Um, but I also got the Magic in the Air, which is one of their newer scents. And I've been very obsessed with this one. It's not, I would say, a wintry smell. It's not necessarily themed around that, like I kind of thought it might be, but it's kind of with the whole idea that every day has a little magic in it, and I was like, sold. And it does smell absolutely delicious, and if you can't tell, I've used some, <laughs> so obviously I'm, I'm liking it. Um, and the last thing I got, um, I got a whole bunch of soaps. Some of them I've already gifted to people. But um, this is also kind of like leftover from the fall stuff. I did get um, a couple different cranberry, pumpkin, and like cinnamon scented soaps. Um, but these are the new nourishing hand soap that has the pumpkin butter in it. And I gave one to my mom and she's really liking it. So I'm thinking I will be liking it. Um, it's a shame I didn't get a chance to use it yet because I'm going to use like the wintry stuff first. But we'll see. It smells good, though, that I can attest to. Um, and then I did get the six-pack of wintry soaps. Um, like I said, I've been in a soap kind of mood lately. I've been wanting soap everything. So, um, like I said, I will be telling you why very shortly. Um, because I do have a couple witchcraft and episodes that I um, am in the works with. I've got it all planned out. And hopefully, maybe Wednesday of this week or next Wednesday huh, on Yule, I might put up a couple videos with some crafts and stuff that I do that I've been working on, but we'll see. <laughs> um, and I'm not sure in all the scents in here, so I guess we'll, we'll kind of see what's in there, but um, I did smell some of them before I got them, but most of these I bought online, so 
This one is the Sparkling Mint Blossom. And it's just a regular hand soap. Um, this one is Chilled Mint Blossom Dipped in Powdered Sugar. Like, that doesn't smell good. <laughs> I'm assuming it does, but I don't know. The next one I got was Snow Kiss Citrus, which is also the wintry kind of idea, but it's kind of different because I wouldn't think of, like, citrus necessarily to be something that conventionally they do for, like, winter and Christmas. I mean, I do because, you know, fruit's awesome, A, and also because I like to dry fruit and stuff, especially this time of year and make, like, potpourri, but some people also use it for their altars and use it for their crafts, and so I kind of thought it was interesting um, that they have lemons or citrusy anything. So that one really, really shocked me, but this one is supposed to be sugary winter lemons glistened in the first snowfall. Sounds nice. Um, and then the next one I got, Vanilla Snowflake, which is the same scent as the the room spray, but it smells better in the soap. I will note that. Um, and this is like vanilla orchid with snowy coconut, um, which might be the scent that I find kind of weird that I don't like. I'm not a big fan of coconut, so that might be it, but that might, might mean nothing. I don't know. The next one I got was the Winter White Woods, and this one I was excited about. Um, I will say also I really like that they have updated their, basically the packaging, but not only the packaging, like the way that they describe it now. They like to have a little panel on the side, like, which is where I've been reading off the descriptions. <laughs> um, this is white birch and juniper berry wrapped in warm vanilla. Sounds cozy to me. And there's only two more. Um, and there's also, it's like a pear and melon with musk one, and I just thought it was really pretty pretty kind of, like I said, they've all kind of gotten more pretty and more updated with their designs, but this is the Fresh Sparkling Snow, and the very last one I got um, was also the Frosted Cranberry. Like I said, all very classic scents, all very wintry, but also a little bit unexpected, and so I thought, you know... Why not show everybody what I got because I guess, I mean, I know I watch a bunch of these videos online, so I guess everybody else does too. So I'm sure I'll be doing a couple more anytime soon, especially after winter shopping and after Christmas shopping in January. You will be seeing me then too. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed what I got. I was very excited when I got it all, so maybe give you some ideas of what to get the next time you go shopping. Um, let me know what you guys think. I'll be seeing you soon. Bye-bye.